All right, here uh, I uh, gave you two examples of finite fields. Actually, in general, whenever we have a prime number, prime number, uh, this FP, which is a uh, number modulo P, so zero, one, two, up to P minus one, is the, is the field of the field finite field of this uh, in elements. It's a fact that there is only one field up to isomorphs, K or uh, P elements, with P elements. What about extensions of this? I will just give you one example. Uh, you basically uh, repeat the idea to construct, which is used to construct complex numbers. So uh, uh, an extension of uh, F2. Okay. So, if you does this, like it is only two elements, modular two, you have only zero and one. Of course, this is uh, something very actually useful in also uh, in practice, uh, like the uh, language of digital world, like uh, computers and all kinds of digital, you know. Uh, Tools use this field, zeros and ones, uh, and their extension. So, what's the extension of this? What are the extensions of this? As I say, it's a you know uh, very uh, rich uh, and big theory. Uh, but I'll just give you one example. As we have done in the case of complex number. You first pick up a polynomial which has no root in this field. For example, let's take this one, f of y plus one. A polynomial which doesn't have a root. Uh, let's see if it is like this. If you plug zero, zero plus is zero plus one is not zero, that's good. But if you plug one, you get one plus one, which is two and zero. So, uh, x to the ground is the root of this phenomenon. So, this is not something uh, we are looking for. Actually, this is equal to one. This is equal to x plus one times x plus one. This is the uh, product. Uh, this product can be written like this. Uh, uh, what factors? Uh, of this thing, and a chart on the right on the ship. Okay, if you multiply this two, you get x squared plus two x, two is zero, so no x plus one. So you get this. So this doesn't work. Okay, so this doesn't work. I need another form of you. Well, we don't have much uh, actually room for polynomials, right? We have only two coefficients, zeros and ones. Uh, so let's try the next one, x squared plus x plus one. When you plug zero, you get zero plus zero plus one. That's not zero, that's good. And when you plug one, you get one plus one plus one, which is three, which is one, and that's not zero. So this, Second degree polynomial has no roots. Therefore, it is uh, irreducible. Okay. Uh, x squared plus x plus one is, has no roots. Uh, and thus, it is irreducible. And I can use this polynomial to. Get an extension of F2. Uh, namely, you will obtain uh, F2 to the power 2, so F4, this is a field, uh, this time with four elements. What are the elements of this? Well, 
INEC. So this will be an extension of F2. So it takes elements of uh, F2. And I need to put something into this uh, a root of this. What is the root of this? Uh, in this case, uh, you know, in, when we were uh, dealing with rational numbers, root of this was square root of two, right? The root of this polynomial has a name, square root of two. It, uh, since ancient Greeks, like we have this, it has a name. But this guy, you know, the root of this uh, has no name. So we just give a name to that. Let's call it X. So X is a root of this. What is this X? X is the symbol. It just satisfies this relation. Uh, it takes this here. So when you plug X here, you get X squared plus X squared, X plus one, that is a uh, zero. So X is a symbol. X is a symbol. So that X squared plus X plus one is equal to zero. Like R, I is a symbol so that I squared plus one is equal to zero. So it's a solution of this polynomial. Okay. The same idea. X is a symbol so that when you square it, add to itself, add one, you get zero. I have three elements, but I'm in four. What is the next one? Well, if I have X, then I have X plus one, right? It is certainly different than this one, different than this one, and different than this one. Okay, so here are four elements. Well, is this a field? I mean, I claim that this is a field. So there should be a multiplication, right? How would you multiply these elements? Well, multiplication by zero is easy. When you multiply something with zero, you get zero. When you multiply something with one, you get that number. So the only non-trivial multiplication is multiplication by uh, this elements of this elements. So what is x plus? Uh, so x plus addition of this is also uh, easy. It is two x plus one, but two is zero in s two. So this is just uh, zero times x plus one. So this is one. What about multiplication? Well, this is x squared plus x. x squared plus x is what? Uh, well, I know that x squared plus x plus one is zero. So x squared plus x is minus one. But in F2, uh, one and minus one are the same. So this is just one. Therefore, x squared plus x is equal to one. So these two are multiplicative inverse of each other. Right? When I multiply them, I get one. So uh, F4, F4, which consists of four elements, 0, 1, x, and x plus 1, where, where x is a symbol satisfying this. Okay? X is a symbol set by this in the field of uh, four elements. Actually, I should say not a field, the field uh, with four elements. So, Kesha, near the field, Teddy, uh, honey, different, uh, when I say the field, I mean. Uh, implicitly that there is only one such field. That requires proof. Uh, that proof uh, you will see either in 367 or 368 uh, Galois theory. Okay, yes. Not Wilson? Yo. Uh, you just heard him. For any prime number, for any 
prime number uh, T and uh, positive integer integer and there is a field there is a field uh, of uh, p to the power and elements and actually it is unique uh, uh, called F to the power n. Böyle bir field var ve ondan da bir tane var. Evet, evet, evet. Evet, evet. You are not responsible for this part of the, you know, uh, gadget. I am just giving this so that, you know, uh, when we say a number field, we will mostly deal with real numbers or complex numbers uh, or rational numbers. However, you know, there are many kinds of fields and they are actually interesting objects. Uh, they are both theoretically uh, interesting and uh, also they have uh, several uh, applications to other fields. For example, finite fields uh, is the language of uh, coding theory. Cryptology. Okay, so it is uh, used a lot. But when people discovered all these field extensions, there were no computers around. Okay, these are, you know, uh, they are known like 200 years or maybe even more. Okay, Gauss knew about, uh, uh, yeah, he knew about all this. Uh, maybe not all, but uh, yes. X plus one. No. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I uh, want to write a field with four elements. I am using this polynomial. Uh, I uh, plug a root of that. But if this is an element of this field, and if this is a field, then uh, addition of these elements, right? Some of these elements also should be in the field. So x plus one should be here. And we see that x plus one is different than all these gadgets. So I have four elements. Of course, in mind, I have, I know the theory and I, I stop here. I don't write, for example, x squared plus one, right? x squared plus one is also an element here, but you see x squared plus one, uh, is actually is equal to x. Where is it? Because when I take it to the other part, I get zero. So x squared plus one is just minus x actually. Okay. So this is enough time. Zero, one, x, and x plus one. Yani yeah. bu abstract şeyleri veriyorum. Uh, I am giving this example because it's uh, something very abstract. You cannot just plug these uh, numbers on the real axis or you know coordinate plane, but they exist. Okay, such things mathematically exist. Uh, so you cannot just avoid them. There it. X sharp X. Okay, now that one. Uh, this is x squared plus x, but x squared plus x, this x satisfies this equation, x squared plus, plus uh, x is minus one, and in f2, minus one is the same x plus one, because one plus one is two equals zero, therefore, one is just minus one, take this to the other side.
Uh, okay, think about it for a while, and then if you don't understand, uh, come and ask me again, okay? Anlamadın neresi var tam olarak? Neyin eksik olduğunu? X kare artı. Şunun bir ekledim sıfır olduğuna göre e, burası bit namur whatever it is. It is the editing inverse of plus one. Editing inverse of plus one is minus one. Okay. Tamam. okay. As I said, I mean, I, I'm not giving you the theory of all this, uh, so you don't have to uh, understand all the theory behind this. Uh, just keep in mind that such things exist, okay? Uh, some interesting objects. Uh, they are not as visible as real numbers or rational numbers, but they exist and they are used in practice also. They are not just theoretically interesting objects, but they are used in practice also. Sorry? Can we find, for example, like can we find friends? A field with six elements, you mean? Yes. No. <laughs> It should be a power of a prime number, okay? Any field, if it is finite, should have uh, elements which is equal to a prime number raised to some power. There's a field with eight elements, nine have elements, 11 elements, but not 10 elements because 10 is just product of two different primes, okay, two and five. Tamam mı? Uh, so you see, when I plug zero here, I get one. Yes. When I plug one, it is uh, one. one. So you are right. This is equal to one in F2. Not in, in F4. I mean, uh, right. what you are doing, uh, what you are saying is this actually. If I consider this as a function, Function in F2. This is the constant, this is the constant function one. Because whenever, whatever you put here, you get one. So it's a constant function. But polynomial is not constant polynomial. Right? As a function, this f from f2 to f2 is constant because whatever you put here, you get one. But as a polynomial, it's not constant. Okay. So it's a function defined via a polynomial, non-constant polynomial, but the function turns out to be constant function. Okay, yeah, very nice. Any other questions? Okay. Now, We talk about abstract vector spaces. Okay, let me pass to the second board. We talked about abstract fields. Uh, now we talk about abstract vector spaces. What are we going to do? We will generalize the uh, you know, vector space of R3, Euclidean uh, vector space of R3 uh, to uh, uh, other fields. Uh, that we could multiply a vector by a real number, right? Uh, 
uh, that was a vector field over real numbers. Uh, but we may actually talk about vector field over any number fields. For example, we may talk about vector fields over F2 or F5 or uh, two, uh, uh, root 2 vector fields over this, vector fields over complex numbers and so on. So we need something uh, more general than just uh, the Euclidean tree space. Yani range vektörleri gördük, değil mi? Şunu sorabilirsiniz. Yani vektörleri işte gördük, hesap da yapıyoruz. Ee, niye daha geneline ihtiyacımız var? Ee, çünkü başka number fieldlar var. Ve orada R ve R3'ün yerini alabilecek başka nesneler var. R yerine başka bir field koyabilirim. O zaman R3'ü de değiştirmem gerekecek. Evet. In Euclidean tree space, we had R3, and this, this is a vector space over R. But here, I want to put some other field, okay? Some other field. Then uh, here, I need something more general, okay? So that's uh, the next thing we are going to do. Let's define what's an abstract vector field. Okay. Uh, so let uh, K, the author uses K uh, to de denote the number field, uh, denote B uh, uh, number field. So K could be any of these number fields, a finite number field or uh, complex numbers, real numbers, whatever. Okay, uh, here is the definition of an abstract vector field, uh, vector space. Uh, the author called this version one. There will be other versions. And n dimensional, n dimensional uh, vector space. Vector space uh, over a field. field K is the set of set of all and couples and couples uh, x one up to x and that. Uh, each XR belongs to K. Uh, the numbers, the numbers uh, XI are called the coordinates or components, components of the uh, vector, uh, vector. So X1 is the first component, X2 is the second component, and so on. Xn is the end component of the vector. Uh, as I said, sometimes instead of component, we also uh, call coordinates. First coordinate, second coordinate, and so on. Both uh, terminology is used. Uh, the operations, operations of vector sum and scalar product, product. Uh, are given, given by the formulas Şöyle.
uh, in the at the beginning of the uh, you know class I said linear algebra without uh, coordinates. Now uh, we are talking about coordinates, right? It's kind of contradictory, but uh, as we said, this is version one, so uh, definition of vector space via coordinate. But soon we will pass to a definition where we don't need actually coordinates. Okay. All right. Now, how do we define two vectors? X and let's say and y one, y two, y n. But as in case of as in the case of R three Euclidean vector space, we just add components. Uh, x1, y1, x2, y2 is the second component, and so on, xn plus yn, and scalar multiplication, lambda times x1, x2, xn is just lambda times x1, lambda times x2, lambda times xn. These operations uh are already defined right these are just two elements of our number field and i know how to add the elements of my number field and here again i have two elements of the number field i just multiply them so i am using the operations of the number field k to define the operations of the vector uh space okay yani iki vektörü toplarken ne yapıyorum? Ee, sayı cisminin işlemini kullanıyorum. Değil mi? Komponentlerini topluyorum veya çarpıyorum. Okay. Uh, this vector space uh, is denoted uh, by k n. Since I have n components, I have uh, you know k copy n copies of uh, the number field. Okay. okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> k n uh, is. Uh, or, okay. Here we go. Uh, this definition uh, I mean version one version one is uh, good enough yeah. Uh, or finite dimensional vector spaces. Uh, however, uh, it is not uh useful then we uh need to uh, work with infinite dimensional spaces. What are the infinite dimensional spaces? For example, function spaces are infinite dimensional. Uh, consider all real valued functions over R, okay? Uh, they are infinite dimensional. Uh, polynomials, even polynomials, the set of all polynomials is a vector space, but it has infinite dimension. 
And in that case, uh, this notation is not useful. And actually uh, all other things uh, which works for KN, uh, most of them will not be uh, useful in infinite dimensions. So you need a more general definition of uh, vector space, okay? Uh, yeah. We mean this uh, x1, x2, xn. This is an empty So So kn is this. Uh, sure, I think. Sorry? Yeah, I mean, you may think it's this way, but okay, so what we mean by KN is this. It is the set of all and two things, okay? Here, each XR is an element of the field K. Okay? Uh, as I said, I mean, if you work with finite fields, uh, sorry, finite dimensional vector fields, you may just work with KN. Okay, you don't need actually abstract definition of vector, uh, vector space and so on. But uh, if you consider infinite dimensional objects like homonomies, uh, then uh, this notation will not be enough and it will not be useful. Uh, <clears throat> for example, so example, uh, uh, the set of all polynomials, polynomials over any field. Okay. Uh, Polynomial şöyle gösteriyoruz. X koyuyoruz. So what we mean by this? A polynomial is something like this. A0, A1, X, AN, X to the power N. Here A, I are in the field. Uh, and N is a positive integer. Uh, well, it can be, of course, zero also. So it's an integer. But it is not negative. Uh, is uh, uh, is a is an infinite dimension. Vector space uh, okay. This is the finite dimensional vector space, but when you, for example, need to consider the vector space of polynomials, uh, then it is infinite dimensional, and this notation will not be enough for you. Okay. Here, why this is infinite dimensional? Because you know, to represent the polynomial, you need infinitely many distinct elements. What are they? Uh, constant term. And then coefficient of x, coefficient of x squared, coefficient of x cube, x to the four, x to the five, x to the one million, x to the power one zillion, and so on. So you don't, you cannot represent a polynomial uh, using only finitely many terms. Okay, you need infinitely many terms. That's why it is it will be infinite dimensional, and uh, this object is not like this okay you may say okay then we may just use this location but uh you know which infinity there are so many okay so this is also not good the best way is to write down a more abstract definition which includes all of these uh, examples okay All right. 
so let me pass to second definition, version two. Uh, definition, two. definition of uh, vector space over the number field. Okay. Let's say B is a uh, vector space, space uh, over a number field. Number field uh, K. Uh, if the following condition are met, okay. so what are the conditions? First, uh, B is uh, an abelian group. So you have vector addition. V is an abelian group. Uh, the sum of two vectors vectors is zero to by uh, the uh, plus sign, okay, plus sign, uh, the zero element. Since it's not a building group, we have one operation. That operation is denoted with this symbol. And again, since it's an abelian group, it is an additive identity, right, identity element. That element is zero by zero. Uh, the zero element element uh, is the next thing. Yeah. So the vector zero is the identity element of this uh, operation. Okay, abelian group operation denoted by plus. Okay, so for any UV in V, uh, the vector U plus C is in V, right? Because this is an operation on V, right? V is an abelian group with this operator. And zero is the identity element of this group. So this is just U. And it is, since it is abelian, I can also write it this way. Uh, and uh, we have also u plus v, which is u plus u, right? For a v. It's an abelian group. That's the first uh, requirement. We also need a scalar product an operation uh, of multiplication. Uh, by Numbers, numbers is defined such that, such that, uh, for uh, any number in K, 
scalar and vector in D. Uh, the vector. Lambda D is the first. Yani bir vektörle bir skalerin çarpımının ne olduğunu size söylenmiş olması lazım. Okay. So, this has to be defined. What we mean by multiplying a vector by a scalar. Okay, this should be defined. That's the second operation or second condition. First condition is that it's an abelian group. V is an abelian group. Second, I have this extra operation. I can... I should be able to multiply vectors by numbers. That's my second operation or second uh, condition. The third one, these two operations are compatible. Uh, these two operations satisfy all the formulas. Uh, I don't this. Lambda plus mu uh, times V is just this. So if I add two scalars and multiply it with the product, then that should be same as this one. I should have also the other way around. If, when I have two vectors added up and multiply with the scalar, then also it should be equal to this one. Uh, one times V should be always one. And uh, zero times V should be always zero. So these operations should satisfy all these uh, identities uh, for any for any UV in B and uh, lambda mu in F. So in that F as well. So if uh, these three conditions are satisfied, then we will call D a vector space over the field chain. Okay. And uh, this definition is good enough uh, for all our purposes. Uh, we can finite dimensional or a finite vector field, or it can be infinite dimensional. Okay, this definition works for all of them. All right, so let's stop.